yeah, uh, in the next uh, chapter, I show you very quickly that this can be extended to uh, to any order. Uh, with any any delay is simple Smith's predictor, and any order means okay. If I have a third order system like this, then I have three Bs, three As. Uh, if I write down the predictions and I want to calculate these equations in respect to y of k which is the actual controller output in each step then this is a new unknown this is an unknown I have one equation with two unknowns second equation adds an unknown old unknown adds two unknowns the next equation adds again two unknowns and here I can say uh, caused by the knowledge of a dead B controller a third order process needs at least three steps to get the final value so here you see uh, in the third prediction I can set this to W and in the uh, fourth equation I set this also to W but here I have the uh, output of the controller I call this y of dc y infinity y dc this is the value which uh, again can be calculated by w divided by dc gain yeah <coughs> so here I have now in the third order version I have uh, five equations five equations with five unknowns. The five unknowns are x m k plus one, x m k plus two, because x m k plus three is set to w. So these both process output values are unknown. Then my searched unknown y of k, the third one, uh, the fourth one is y of k plus one, and this y of k plus two is the uh, fifth one. So I have five unknowns. I need five equations. Here I have five equations with five unknowns. They can be solved. Uh, I have this solution uh, done by a matrix inversion. So I order these equations in the way that I can write all um, parts which um, has unknowns on the right side in the way of matrix multiplications. So the first uh, first equation can be read as this this uh, this line is minus b1 times y of k plus 1 times xm of k plus 1 and this equation is exactly the first equation here. So I rewrite these five equations in the form that I can express this with matrix uh, writing. So I call this Z, this matrix is Z, containing A's and B's and old and actual input and output values. So these, value, these uh, numbers are known. This is a matrix which contains only A's and B's, depending on the process. And these are my five unknowns. Uh, I can solve this matrix equation just by inverting. Uh, so uh, I multiply this with the inversion of A and get then the Y vector, the five unknowns, is the inverted AB matrix uh, multiplied with the uh, numbers which I can calculate on the uh, left side here. So I need a matrix inversion, but this matrix inversion can be done before the controller runs because the A's and B's are the process parameters and the model parameters if they are not a constant can be uh, unknown and uh, the in inversion can be done just in a previous uh, initialization step before and then uh, these values are uh, calculatable and we can um, yeah, test this. I have tested this. Uh, but if there's a delay, use Smith's predictor. And um, yeah, I have 
tested this controller uh, with a third order process given in a file which uh, yeah, I, not, I have to look for this file. <laughs> uh, these are the SMBs, and here you see uh, the uh, blue curve is this fast modified DB controller. Mm. We see the orientation controller as a black curve, and yeah, then we have a limitation. The blue curve is the unlimited uh, result showing that this is as fast as a DP controller. After three steps, uh, this is ready. And you see here the red curve is the uh, version with limited. Yeah, I think, I think I should. Uh, I should show you the simulation. I should show you the simulation because um, with uh, limitations I have uh, some uh, problems with this controller. Uh, I have to look for the for the numbers here. Wait for this. I look for this. Okay. Uh, after discussion of the uh, theory of the three PT one system, uh, I. Uh, introduce an example with k is a 2 so 2 t1 is 0 0.1 seconds t2 is 0 0.2 second and t3 is um, 20 millisecond and sampling time is also 20 millisecond <coughs> Note, uh, I have played with a different one some minutes before. If k is 0.4 and sampling time is 10 millisecond, uh, or are the orientation controller uh, is not running. This is something to do with. Uh, <coughs> internal calculation errors. Yeah, um, the numbers are so great that differences in great numbers could cause problems. So our R is not running. So we can test it with my uh, K2 and 20 millisecond. Uh, you will see just in a few seconds in my simulation the system runs. Uh, I want to test the real algorithm. So we have an additional delay of uh, 20 millisecond. And the resulting curves now comes uh, with the uh, next um, some pictures. <coughs> Here you see um, the K three PT one twenty millisecond real algorithm. These are the settings of my hardware simulator. Here are the settings of the design real three PT one same process twenty millisecond. And I have activated the <coughs> orientation controller, and the numbers here are in the region below 100. If these exceed 1000, uh, then this uh, could cause internal calculation errors, and orientation controller uh, cannot run. So I sent this. What is this? What have you gemacht? Erase drawings. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, I have done something wrong. Okay. Uh, <coughs> back with some interruptions. Uh, here the, the cues of the uh, orientation controller uh, are in the region of below 100. If these are larger than 1000, then we get calculation errors. So be careful with the uh, numbers of the um, controller cues. Uh, I shift this box away and open the real-time function box. Wait a second. Here there are the box. Um, we want to have unit step function, reference uh, step response, 20 millisecond, I think 50 points are okay. 
uh, I start with uh, PIDT1, run the system, uh, click on reference step response, and we see the curve of the PID with the 3PT1 system. Um, DeadP controller with a limitation won't work. We will see. Um, give the large overshoot. Uh, so I delete this curve. I cannot use it really. Orientation controller runs uh, now very well with other parameters. I have searched for big problems. This works uh, acceptable, a little bit faster than the PID. Uh, and now I open the advanced view. Want to see my uh, modified deadbeat controller. For this I have to switch to this box load the controller values, the A's and B's. I have stored them, so I have to reload them and get these values. Uh, the uh, H value will be discussed later, so I set this to 1, then this is not effective. Um, note that these models are only used if I click on these buttons and then this overrides the A's and B's. You can directly load the A's and B's. The controller works with the A's and B's, nothing else. So this should run now. And I first show you that this is as fast as a dead B controller. This can be shown by disabling the limit values. Run, init, start. You see, after uh, this is in a real algorithm, after four steps, after 80 milliseconds, I reach my goal. Now I activate the uh, limitation with 10 volt and I run now this controller and you see the result is <coughs> a small delay but no overshoot, no undershoot, nothing else than a very fine resulting curve of this <coughs> this controller. Uh, so um, we can say um, this design gives uh, good values, but uh, I will explain later some disadvantages. Again, I can show you uh, the disturbance behavior. Uh, I unload all curves. I switch to disturbance behavior and I repeat uh, all controllers to see the Disturbance behavior of a PID is uh, okay. Dead B controller, both very bad reference behavior. Uh, here it has a good disturbance behavior. Orientation controller, uh, acceptable with, with until good uh, reference behavior. The disturbance behavior, bad. You see uh, there is a control error. And the modified deadbeat, my version of the deadbeat, <coughs> again has this a black curve, has a disturbance uh, error here and a final uh, control error which is much smaller than orientation controller, but there is still a um, control error. I show you this a little bit larger by deleting all upper curves, repeating the last curve. And here you see there is a settling uh, on uh, error value is 0.03 around that. Yeah, so this is the uh, disadvantage of my controller that there is a real final value error. Okay, so far the 3PT1 system, uh, I show you now a modification so this demonstrates the uh, control the, the misleading not working orientation controller that are the values I have used first so I make uh, quickly the gain small 0.4 uh, and the subject time also small um, that is, uh, of course, also be 
done has to be done in the design so here 0.4 and 10 milliseconds controller design center of the box and here you see the problem is these values are very large <coughs> i this time i don't know why this caused problems but this will cause problems you will see at once in my simulation here i go to orientation controller back to reference behavior uh, i run it delete the last curve and in it the process and start reference behavior and that is uh, absolutely strange behavior i have no idea what happened there i have not seen this anymore before the pid still is okay Design one, really not bad. Um, PFC, now uh, we have to load. So the question is, where do I get these values if I have not an AB calculator here? Uh, the way is very simple. In my design, there is a button where I can send the uh, A's and B's, so the FFC to the PFC. Look what happens if I push on this button. Now you see the values are the same. It's already done, but if you change here something, you anymore uh, anymore should push this button. So these are really these values. You see the compare the bees. The bees are the same. Uh, so this is already copied. So this should run uh, in the process. Run and now look what happens. <laughs> I promise you a nice curve. Uh, my controller, which was good with the old values, now starts oscillations. And that is strange. It has something to do with uh, the fact that the um, uh, A's and B's, uh, that the, the time constant is very small, gain is very small, uh, compared with the limitation. Uh, note that a deadbeat controller, and this is a deadbeat controller, modified deadbeat controller, a deadbeat controller has values larger than 1000, and that means 1, one volt uh, is gained with more than 1000. Uh, this uh, caused this uh, oscillations. There is a possible modification I will explain in the next step. Uh, I have a parameter called here age. And now I set this age to 2 and now look what happens with this parameter in it process and start the curve. Now the oscillation is gone and we have a very nice black curve. If I set this to 3, run again in it process, then you see there is a, yeah, a delay a, slow creeping to the final value without any overshoot so with the age value i can de decelerate the speed of the algorithm uh, if uh, or the original algorithm caused this type of problems then i can uh, <coughs> add a new parameter i will explain in the next step you see okay if you have this problem with orientation controller that could be caused by uh, too large queues so be careful with this uh, or then the orientation controller cannot be used so far here in this case i changed 0.4 and 10 millisecond uh, also um, my Modified dead beat, a dead beat, uh, why? Starts oscillation, starts oscillations. Um, then uh, we know that. The deadbeat, the deadbeat cues are too large, too large. 
Um, I look again, our Q0 of my deadbeat node, I shift this box into the window, this is 1369, 1369, so 1369, uh, that means uh, 1 volt step at reference input cost a 1369 volt step at output uh, this is limited to 10 volt that means uh, the limitation factor is uh, the ratio of what you get what you want to have is 100 uh, nearly 167 that's too large yeah ratio is too large ratio between uh, desired value and limited value value is 100 uh, 37 is too large. Then, trick. <coughs> the idea is following, uh, independent of the, of the size, here I go back to the, to the second order system, here I solve this equation in that way that I, after two steps, uh, reach the desired value. Uh, if this ratio is too large, then I can change this value. Yeah, the desired value could, uh, if I set this to smaller values, I need more steps, clear, but uh, this could uh, lead to a more stable situation. So what, what I do is, I look for the position where I am in X, I look I look where I want to be in two steps, that is my desired value W, and then I set a new desired value, which is half between uh, my actual position and my desired position. Then uh, the uh, amplitude the yk is much smaller and the limitation factor is smaller and the behavior is much better. Yeah? So in each step I look where I am, I look where I want to be and I set then a value, the new desired value in, yeah, where. I give you the equation. Uh, change the desired value from step to step to the w nu is for the situation in my diagram yeah from step to step uh, assumed i am here x of k assume that this is my desired value w i want to be in say here in the second order system in two steps this is n this is n plus one this is n plus two uh, so i know i'm uh, in two steps in a dead b controller system second order system uh, i reach this if this is too far away then i set my desired value between the desired and the actual value, say, uh, half between, or uh, I want to have this distance in, in uh, one third or so on. So I calculate now the new desired value, W new, is the difference, original desired value minus actual position, divided by H. This is my new parameter. New 
parameter in uh, in setting list. Yeah, this is the value, the field, the numerical up down I can change um, to other values. That means if I'm here and want to be there, I set in my equations this middle value to the new to the new um, desired value. If I'm there, maybe I have, have reached this point. In the next step, I again calculate the uh, middle point between this and set this uh, value as a new desired value, and so on. So this is a way to make the uh, to to be uh, decrease the gain of my controller, and this caused a more stable situation. You have seen this in your in my uh, demonstration. So this is a very simple trick to uh, make if, if the uh, sampling time is very small and the gain of the process is small and the gain of the controller must be very high. This is a way to decrease the gain of the controller with a price that of course the um, um, the settling time will be larger. This, uh, re repeat this with a quick demonstration. I delete all curves. Uh, I uh, go to the parameter box and show the situation. Uh, uh, H0 is, is not, not so good. <laughs> that is also a small bug. Yeah? Zero should not be uh, possible here in this field. Uh, if H is 1, we have original situation in a process and we see now the oscillation. Yeah? Uh, now, if I see this, okay, the gain is much too high, so I now go to a value between actual situation and exactly half half between desired value and actual situation, and you see this is a real help. The oscillation is gone. That's small oscillation, but mostly this is gone. If H now is too large, uh, if I make it three, uh, so this is a, a parameter you should find out by playing with your uh, system, uh, then this is too slow. Yeah, So this uh, is not so good. Uh, what you then can do, uh, we have uh, adapted this uh, in a uh, uh, further parameter. Uh, I shift now this box a little bit higher, if this is possible. Then here is uh, an option that this age can be adapted. So I uh, look if I'm in the near of my uh, desired value, then I make this age automatically uh, smaller. So then I'm in the last steps where, where the amplitudes are much smaller, uh, I will be faster. So let's check what happens if I activate this adaption, this age adaption. Uh, I run, I click in it and look what happened. Yeah, this it leads to the fact that here the uh, last step is a little bit faster. Now this is an, an idea what you can do. Yeah, here if, if the program detects okay uh, the, the adaption uh, is made if, if the uh, y value is below limit, uh, then the h is decreased. Here, I think first step is h to 2, but, but then you are really too late. And you see, in, in this situation, up to this point, there is no change because up to this position, uh, the uh, controller amplitude is limited to 10 volt. And then, of course, uh, we cannot decrease this h value. So, I think um, this is the situation for a 3 PT1 and uh, to come to a finish I show you in the paper uh, that there is a, a solution also with 4 PT1s. Uh, there is no limitation for, for the degree. There is a subchapter at the end of this paper where I uh, go stop. Yeah, on page 97, just at the end of this paper, I have added the point nine, the chapter 9.10. Uh, I just uh, have, have done the, the job of increasing now the degree to 4. Now I have 4Bs, four 4As. Four I have, uh, if I 
write down the equations. Now I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven unknowns. So I need seven equations, seven steps into the future. Uh, then here I have a matrix uh, with seven times seven uh, cells, which has to be inverted. So the theory is just extended to uh, four, can be done by with five and seven and uh, any, any one. But I, uh, of course, have tested it is is as fast as a deadbeat controller if there is no limitation. And there is a nice response if uh, the limitation is uh, active, uh, where a deadbeat controller doesn't work. You can play with this system. At this time, I don't want exactly how large is the sampling time. <laughs> it's not uh, covered with my screenshot. I think 10 milliseconds. Yeah. So this is an example I have played in this uh, point here. Yeah, 20 points. 20 points to 2 uh, second means 100 milliseconds. The, the sampling time is 100 milliseconds to get 20 points here. Yeah. So. Um, Play with the 4 pt one and then this will work. Look for this, but I think that is not so important because uh, model model identification with a degree of four is really uh, not useful. Uh, better is you identify your process with two pt ones and delay, or highest degree should be three. Uh, degree of four is uh, I have never seen. Uh, this in, in real uh, hardware. Uh, but you see, the theory can be extended to any degree. You have seen the theory of this uh, modified DP controller. This is as fast as a DP controller without limitation. With limitation, it is faster. So this is in all aspects, uh, except disturbance behavior. Uh, better than the deadbeat. The disturbance behavior of a deadbeat, of classical deadbeat is better than this, but I have in uh, later uh, in next week's uh, lectures I will present uh, an idea uh, and show it in, in this concrete realization that I can remove this disturbance error uh, with a additional uh, method. Yeah, but I think I stop now here and next week I uh, will introduce. A, a new idea of a predictive controller which has some advantages compared with my one. Okay, bye.